um, framework is an iterative approach. And I talked about this earlier, right? We're not going to do something that scares us every day. And this is for those of you who are here because you think that you need to be a way better risk taker. So I need to tell you, risk taking is not a personality trait. It is 1 million percent a muscle that you build over time. And it is truly, you can become a more effective risk taker if you approach it like going to the gym. Um, and really qualities of effective risk takers are often that they choose relatively small stakes risks, right? Like you don't go to the gym and deadlift 200 pounds the first day, you build up. Um, and you keep taking risks over time. So it's not a one and done, right? You're not at the gym once. You want to make sure that that muscle doesn't atrophy. So if you are feeling freaked out about a risk, it's most likely because you just haven't done it in a while. And if you are a high achieving badass at chief, and you are because here you are, it's also possible that part of what your path has been has been to choose scenarios where maybe you knew that you could succeed. And maybe you feel ready for something different and you were following a particular path and now you want to get off that path. And it doesn't mean that you can't. It probably means that you're out of practice and that muscle has atrophied. So remember that repetition and incremental change, incremental gains will absolutely get you to risk tolerance and fitness. And so the, the strategies here are thinking about what we call your sphere of desirable difficulty, which means can you think of smaller risks that you can take that are somewhere between that comfort zone in the middle and that high risk zone on the end, meaning something that's halfway between too easy and too hard. That's what we want you to be thinking about. And can you take that bigger risk and actually break it down into smaller risks? And so setting some of those small goals and thinking about the hidden gifts of, of trying. So you try, maybe it doesn't work out. What might you take away even if it doesn't work out? That is part of the iterative approach.